Welcome back, everybody. We are in the Ice Cavern now in our 3HC of L-O-Z-O-O-T. Last we left off, we'd just gotten here after finishing up our business in the Fire Temple. And we get hit with falling stalactites. Excellent. And spinning things. The problem with the Ice Cavern, I've always thought, is that it can be pretty annoying in terms of dealing damage. Because you always have the stalactites falling, these freaking enemies that disappear sometimes, and blow ice to freeze you, and later we'll have ice keys. This is just... Ugh, and stupid shit like... Okay, we're... Link. We're not gonna die right when we get in the freaking cavern. Okay, just calm down. Maybe there's a jar with some parts. Is there any? I didn't... Looks like there's not. Okay. We'll have to just listen to the beeping and be like, deal with it. Okay. Ignoring you guys this time. Just leave me alone. If I get close to them, they will kill me, I'm sure of this. How do I open this dang door? They're not silver rupees, are they? Yeah, that red ice is blue fire burnable, you'll find out later. Unless I already said that. I'm gonna try killing all these enemies, pretty sure that's what you have to do. I love being badass with the Megaton Hammer even when I don't need it. But now is not a time for frivolity. It's a time for ass kicking. To kill you too. Well, there's my answer. Okay. So yeah, these uh, ice caverns are. It's a neat little place. Pretty much, you know, almost every game has some kind of ice or snow area or world, and for Ocarina of Time, this is that one. Including, of course, the entirety of Zora's domain when it's frozen. This is what I was thinking about with the silver rupees that you have to collect. Nor the annoying, rotating, ice, spinny dagger thing. No hookshot, just jump. I had to take a leap of faith! As Proton John would say. Not really a whole lot to say. I'm sorry I'm not saying much. I actually enjoy the music in this area. And uh, get used to those spiky, wheely, spinny, pointy things. They'll be wrecking our shit later. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Go away! Freaking hate ice keys. Need to equip ourselves properly here. Can I get rid of these? Oh god. Go away! They double teamed me! What the shit? Oh, wait, no, it was from that same one. But there was more than one. And of course he disappeared before I could kill him. Snipe this guy. Oh my god! Holy shit, that was fucking awesome. I will never perform an act of awesomeness that epic again. Probably. Anyway. So yeah, this is Blue Fire. Not to be confused with Cold Fire from the uh, Land Before Time. And this is where it sucks to be doing this three hard challenge, because you have just the one bottle, and you need a lot of this blue fire. A lot in here, thankfully only really need it once outside the temple. Is there a key storm? Oh, that was the, the guy underneath who reappeared. And, uh, 
Yep, that is the extent of Blue Fire's use. What's the big surprise? I'm gonna guess a coffee mug. Oh man, I never get that right. I always hope it's something other than the map. If this were Majora's Mask, it'd be an even greater possibility. Yep. Anyway. So we're going to be going back and forth a lot. Um, maybe not to that room specifically, because... Stupid things. Oh my god, I freaking hate these things. And we'll hate them a lot later. They weren't a problem necessarily in Dodongo's cavern. Much more so here. Um, yeah, this is a... Totally ignoring the floating pot. That is one entrance that you need blue fire to open, and this is another. This, I believe, leads to uh, the compass and a sculptula. Not gonna want to waste it on that one. Go over here. I don't know what to say about that. Blue fire is pretty cool. It's unfortunate that it's refined strictly to this ice cavern. But we're gonna get rid of you guys while we still can. Sons of bitches. Come on, Link. You wanna you wanna aim a little better? Fine, get him around the corner. Oh, Lang, come on! There you go. Waste five arrows on... And then I hit the next one right away. Get this... I don't care about that piece, really. But before it gets unnecessarily close... So as you can see, just... A little rupee collecting. Um, the best way is to get the ones on the tall pillars first. There are a lot of sculptulas in here, I just realized. There are like three or four. Don't fall off. But the ones on top of pillars like this one and this over here, um, it's best to have it over here too because this gives you easy jumping access to the, uh, the blue fire that you will need for the other one, but... I, th I think. Can I. Link! What? Why the fuck did you jump like that? What the hell? I just wanted you to j just step off! You're lucky I don't make your ass freeze to death! Ugh! I keep yelling at Link because I don't want to blame myself. But, god damn it, that was stupid. Thank god I don't have to go through all that shit again. And of course these don't have hearts again, why would they? Stupid, just break them in the jar! Yeah, I didn't expect it, but still. What the hell? Maybe these? Have hearts? Why can't I hit these damn things? Okay. Just stop the Z-targeting the thing in the middle. I understand that you could possibly want me to walk around it while Z-targeting it, but I, I just don't care. And of course these keys are back again. Snipe these mother... FUCKERS! I hate ice keys so much. Far far worse than fire keys. They're so just... Ugh. I hate being frozen in any game. It's so annoying. Zelda... Get over here! Fine, I'll snipe you. You like that better? BITCH! <sighs> Who says video games turns people violent or angry? Not me. Certainly not, I don't have outbursts. Mostly. Okay, can we not jump off it like a moron this time? Just there, that's what I wanted you to do the first time, Link. I'm gonna keep blaming you and not my 
idiocy in terms of controls. And I was gonna try walking backwards, but it's a tad more annoying to do so on the ice. Just drop it down already. Just a simple hop. There you go. I need a repeat of what just happened. Stupid. And, um... I think I can hop off of this. Nope. That's okay. I'm um, gonna go ahead and push this uh, over there to get to the blue fire more easily. And Navi's kind of going crazy over there. I don't know why. There's uh, there's a collection of rupees up there, 20 rupee uh, pieces, that I don't know how to get to. It's not like there's, a, there's not a hookshot target, but she's floating there green as if it's like something you could use the Scarecrow song for. But how would that work? Would he just appear on the ceiling? Not entirely sure. And if it does involve Scarecrow Song, then we're a bit SOL. Because we can't use it. Okay, last one. Nice and easy. Why didn't you jump, Link? Come on, don't make this more difficult on yourself than it already practically is. And don't die! Jeez. Okay, come on. Just easy. How many times has that freaking glitch happened now? That must be like the fourth or fifth time. Come on, Link. I've made, we've made this before. I don't think this is something we can push over there, because it looks like that pillar that you would push it to is too far to the right. So you have to jump, Link. I don't want to go through all that shenanigans with pushing it again. Just simple hop. Oh, come on! You were right there! <sighs> Fine, I'll try it again. Come on, you can do this. It's... I think I've done this before. I, I'd swear that I have. It was right there! You just throw your hands out, Link. Just whatever. Let's do it another way. Told you it was too far to the right. Why am I so angry today? I don't even know. <laughs> Had a hell of a workout today. But isn't exercise and all that stuff, after the strenuous part, isn't it supposed to be more relaxing than anything? Whatever. Yeah, put your hand through the ice. All that for a door opening. Certainly can't hop over there, so... And we need to get more blue fire. Thankfully, it's in this room. Would I'd hate to have to just go back to that same main room the whole time. Would it make you, like, do the whole rupees in this room again and have the keys respawn? If it did, probably. And I just would want to cut myself if that happened. And blue fire. I guess having it in just one bottle isn't so bad, but it gets tedious after a while, going back and forth. Okay. Moment of truth. Can we make this jump? We have before, and there's really no other way you can... Oh. And there's really no other way you can push it to here other than this, so have to be able to make this. Okay. Didn't want to have to start raging there. S stupid stalactites! Or are they stalagmites? I don't remember a long time ago, whenever middle school was, almost uh, 15 years ago. Not that long, but sort of. I remember learning the difference uh, between stalactites and stalagmites. One is on the ground. So the ones that we can chop are the, the ones that are di Fuck you, Keese! Die! Not- Oh my god, I fucking hate you! Serve Okay. 
I've often thought what the most annoying Zelda enemy is. It might be Ice Keys. Who else would be a contender? Uh, Beemos, maybe? Possibly Beemos. No form of a Skulltula is really annoying enough to be considered annoying, necessarily. I know in the Water Temple, the most annoying ones are the spider jumping. I, again, I'm really bad about remembering what the names of certain uh, mini enemies are. I, I don't even remember. I didn't even explain. The reason we had to go back and get more blue fire, it looks like it's all gone, and that was excellent. And it is all gone in here, but the reason we need it again is because of our big fat Zora King. Oh my god, so annoying. Okay. Can I get anything from the pots? I don't even really care. Because we have a mini boss now, that's not really hard. I guess there's nobody here, so we'll just go ahead and head to the other exit. Oh my god! White Wolf Oaks. And I let it hit me like an idiot. But even the mini boss White Wolf Oaks can be killed with this. Not really hard. Not deserving of the mini boss, but whatever. I said, well, we can't just give them this treasure right away. We have to put some obstacle in their way. And the treasure, of course, is... Steel-toed boots! And steel-heeled, I guess. How'd you get in here? Did you have to go through all the keys like I did? Annoying. Could be like Impa. Could have got me in here. Uh, just as easily as we'd gotten out of the castle that one time. Yeah, I could have guessed that. So it's never melt ice. Will it beef up my ice type ice type moves? Oh well. Give us another prophetic speech. So intriguing. Oh, Serenade of Water. A pretty tune. All, really, all of them are. There's no temple tune, at least, that I hear, and I'm just like, wow, that's not musically interesting in any way. They must all end on Pickerty Thirds, of course. And wait, where did that Deku Nut come from? Well, Sheik just used a Deku Nut, so maybe he left one behind. Anyway, wait, is this... Okay, yeah. We gotta go through this other exit. Um, we have to go underwater, and now that we have boots that will make us not float, easier to go through it, then. Yeah. You still can't breathe underwater. If only you had a tunic that could help you do that. But that would be silly, wouldn't it? Okay. Done with this cavern. Leaving forever. I don't care about the peaceful, actually kind of nice music. Annoying villains. And now we're just headed back to where we had to go originally. We got the blue fire to dethaw Big Fat Kingy. Which begs a question. If there's a Zora King, wonder whatever happened to the Zora Queen. 
was Princess Rudo, so there must have been some kind of mother figure. It just now occurred to me, actually. Is the Zelda universe similar to the Disney ideology of film writing, in which at least one parent must be dead at all times? I don't know. So he doesn't look like a big strawberry popsicle anymore, except he still kind of does. Come on, speak to me. Talk to me, boy. Ew. I just looked up his crotch there for a moment of this. They do stand on here to talk to me, right? Okay. You, you have come back to... <laughs> he's like, uh... He's like, uh, Lord Guru. <laughs> oh, I, I dozed off for a minute. And global warming has happened around you, except now it's global cooling, and we sport a blue tunic that I don't care for. Now we need to get to the lake. Which we could do by just going through the regular way, all the way through Lake or Pilia Field and everything, but that would be annoying. So, Lake Hylia has turned to Lake Lanier and dropped about six feet in water. No, more than that. This is like six yards of water depletion. But it's raining. You'd think that'd fill it back up. But I guess not. Alright. And to all that trouble in the ice caverns to get these damn boots just so we can access what is notoriously known as the most hated temple in any game ever. As far as I know. I don't really have a problem with it, but now that I've said that, we're gonna be like here for ten segments. I'm hoping not. But we're here in the dreaded temple with the very nice music and the very annoying enemies. Yeah, there he is. Alright, so next time we will begin on the water temple. Save here, just in case. Uh, until then, see you guys later.